Uh, thank you for joining us today. This is part uh, four of our te new teaching that we've been doing on the name of the Mashiach, or the name of the Messiah. And um, we, uh, I, I want to start off today by just sharing a little bit more about uh, the name Jesus. Because, you know, this is something that uh, is so hard for a lot of people to accept that the name that they see in their scriptures, in their Bibles that most people carry and most people use to, uh, on a daily basis, well, let's say a lot of people who are believers uh, uh, read their scriptures and they see the English letters for the Messiah's name is Jesus. And they have, that's the only name that they have known. I know for myself personally, from my own personal experience, um, I've been a believer for many years. And uh, for uh, right at 30 years, I guess that's the only name that I knew. Um, as the Savior. That's the only name that uh, I really had thought that there was no other name but the name Jesus for salvation. And uh, now even though the, the person that the scripture talks about is in, in the scripture is Jesus, uh, his name is a Hebrew name and not an English name that's been made up. Now I say that and that really just sort of probably bothers a lot of people. I bother you that are listening. It may it may be upsetting to you, but uh, you know the truth is the truth, and it's easy to prove if you'll just do the research yourself uh, that he never could have been called Jesus because the, for a number of reasons, as we've already shared with you, that the letter J is a is not a in Hebrew. There is no J letter in the in the Hebrew language. There is no J letter in the Greek language, and uh, there is no the the J letter is an is only about as far as the English language is it's. it's say around 500 years old, but it, or less than 500 years old, but it actually was not in prominent use, and it wasn't even in the original King James 1611 scriptures. And, uh, and that's easy to prove. If you'll just do the research, you'll find that to be the case. So he never could, had, never was called Jesus when he walked on the earth. He had a Hebrew name. He was given a Hebrew name by his, by his parent, Hebrew parents, he was born in a Hebrew culture, culture. He was a Hebrew rabbi. He was a teacher. He was a prophet himself. He was the son of Yehoshadek. Hallelujah. And uh, he, his name was prophesied in the scriptures of what it would be. He even said himself in John chapter 5, you look this up in verse 43, Yahu Kanan. John, Yahu Kanan, chapter 5, verse 43, the Mashiach declared, said, I am come in my father's name. Now, his father's name is not Jesus. His father's name, that's something, see, that actually when I began to, to find out about the Mashiach's name and about understanding that his name was not Jesus, the first thing that really caught my attention was that the father's name, I, did, I thought I knew, I thought, you know, I just knew of all these different names. In fact, I thought he had many names, but come to find out, he has only really one name, but he has many titles. You know, I'm a father. That's a title, but I'm, that's not my name. You know, I'm a, I'm a teacher, but uh, <clears throat> that's not my name. You know, I'm a husband, but that's not my name. You know, I, I carry a lot of functions. You may also as well. You, you may carry many hats or titles, but that's not your name. And the Creator has, has only one specific name that He has referenced that He is to be remembered by and called upon. And we're actually commanded in the Scriptures to call upon His name. Wow! Then it, then it, it really shows the importance of finding out what His name is. Well, it's been hidden. And, and you know, and Yahuwah has, has shown mercy to us because it's been hidden by corrupt people. And it's been hidden because of your tradition, a man's tradition. Even Mashiach himself that said the traditions of men make the word of Yahuwah of no effect. In other words, the tradition of men can actually you know, d cover up and hinder the word of Yahuwah from being profitable in our lives. You know, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. People are destroyed. He, and Yahuwah said himself, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And we're living in it today when knowledge is very important. I'm talking about knowledge of the scriptures. I'm not talking about general knowledge. I'm talking about knowledge of the scriptures and revelation knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is very important because it will help your, you, your life from being destroyed. The more you know and the more you perceive, 
because you take the opposite of what Yahuwah said. He said, the reason that my people, are you his people? He said, the reason my people are destroyed are because of a lack of knowledge or a lack of understanding, lack of, of information, of understanding of the scriptures is what he's talking about. So uh, it's important for us to study and to show ourselves approved unto Yahuwah that we're workmen worthy, you know, to, that we are counted as worthy before him. And as we study the scriptures, then we find out what the name of the Creator. That I, I found out the first thing I found out was that the Creator's name has been hidden with the with the with the English uh, letter Lord, L O R D, over six thousand eight hundred twenty three times in the Tanakh or the Old Testament. You, that's how many times that the Creator's name has been edited out of our scriptures and replaced with an English word called the Lord, or Lord. You know, that's really, you think about it, you know, it's just astounding that we, and most people have no idea that that's happened in our scriptures. Most believers have no clue of that. Most people don't know that the name of the Messiah has been changed. His Hebrew name, Yahusha, has been changed and edited out of our English translations, and a mistranslation, or mistransliteration, of the name of the Hebrew name has been replaced with a made-up name, which is what most people have held on to, and would go to their grave saying that that his name is Jesus. But I'm here to tell you today that that's not his name. That was never his name. Now we, you might know that person in the scriptures that talks about that person. You might know in the scriptures, and that his real name has been been hidden from you. But, you know, it's no, no, no use to stay in ignorant once you, the truth has been exposed to you. And, you know, and, and you don't have to take my word for it. In fact, I, you won't even believe, you won't even change anything until you do the research yourself to find out that this is the case and that the name of the Mashiach or the Messiah has been changed. His name is a Hebrew name. And it's important for you to know that. Some people say, well, he, he knows my heart. He knows, he knows what I mean. And I just call him... Father, I just call him all these things. You, you might that's that's for you if you if you can if you can do that yourself and stand before Yahuwah and tell him those same things, I'm not the one to judge you. He will be the one to judge you, not me. I'm just sharing you what the scripture has to say. He puts a high priority on his name. He even declares that we're to in the book of Exodus, chapter three, that his name, Yahuwah, was a name that he was to be remembered throughout every generation. That his name was a memorial to every generation. That means the generation that you and I live in today, in this year of 2013, that his name was to be remembered by, 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 by Yahuwah as his name. And salvation is found in his name. And that's why it's important that when the Mashiach said, I am come in my Father's name, and when you know that the Father's name is Yahuwah, then you know that the Son's name, which is Yahusha, when you say the name Yahusha in Hebrew, you're saying Yahuwah is salvation or is my deliverer, is my Savior. Is when you declare Yahusha, you're declaring that Yahuwah is your salvation. Oh, this is so precious, so wonderful when you think about it. Yahuwah's great plan of salvation and he, he wanted us to know that we, if we called upon his name, as it says in the book of Joel, or Yahuwah, chapter 2, verse 32, for whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. And if you read in, second, in, uh, in the book of Acts, chapter 2, the, the apostle Peter, or Kepha, was actually quoting from the book of Yahuwah, chapter 2, verse 32, when he said, Whosoever shall call, and your English translation says, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord is an inaccurate trans, transliteration or translation of that scripture. It actually says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved or delivered. And it's important that you and I know that. Now, uh, I'm going to have to stop right here and we'll get back into our next uh, session to, to more. Uh, about this because it's I know it's, it's such a it's such a touchy subject for a lot of people and it's a hard thing for a lot of people for the only known na no, name they've known throughout their their whole life that the Mashiach or Savior's name is Jesus 
And so when you come across and you try to share the truth that no, his name is a, is a Hebrew name, it's Yahusha, you get all kind of reaction from people. You get some who, who uh, you know, just try to say, well, I just call him, you know, I said the only name I've ever known, and I was born again or saved by that name, and that's the only name I'm going to use. <clears throat> again, I would be very cautious about that kind of reaction. I would, I would, I would caution you to study yourself and to find out what he had to say, not not what you think, because it doesn't matter what you think or I think. It's what matters what Yahuwah has said that's important. I mean, he can he's shown us mercy because we haven't known his name because it was hidden intentionally from us. But once we begin to know his name, you know, how how wrong would it be for you to reject that and say, well, I don't care, I've always called him Jesus, or I've always called him this, or Lord, and I will continue to call him that. Well, you that's your, your choice to make. But I would not make that choice because I, I understand through the scripture how important his name is and how, what he's trying to do in these latter days is one of the things that he's doing is that he's prophesied in the book of uh, Isaiah or Yahshua Yahu that he would make his name known to his people. And he's making his name known. And if you are his people, you will know his name and you'll call upon his name. Well, thank you for joining us and we'll look forward to our next time together. And blessings be upon you and I'll see you next time. Shalom.